Hello, de uh, my DF dandies. <laughs> I'm curious to know your thoughts on the leaked Switch 2 motherboard. Is it possible there is custom hardware attached that we still don't know about, possibly with some kind of specialized function, perhaps a specialty, specialty chip that can perform dedicated hardware upscaling like those features in smart TVs in conjunction with whatever DLSS flavor Nintendo uses? This could help reduce the CPU, GPU or CUDA core workloads. Or could there be some other specialized hardware features we have we still have no idea about? It sort of irks me when people say authoritatively that we already know all there is to know about the hardware. Even if they're somewhat predictable at times, Nintendo does seem to consistently keep us on our toes, which I personally don't appreciate as a non-ballerina. <laughs> Again, I would just like to hear your thoughts. Thanks for what your team does to keep us informed and entertained. First time questioner, long time bespoker. Cheers, exclamation point. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, the, the, <laughs> we often talk about the concept of the uh, extra GPU in the power brick or the dual-layer dual ES RAM, you know, classic rumours from yesteryear where, you know, facts appear about hardware specifications and people just can't quite accept them. Um, the thing about having, like, specialised functions on a separate board is basically the concept of data transfer it's hugely inefficient to actually send all of that data to and from a completely different board, even to a completely different chip on the same board. So this kind of limits the performance and the, uh, the win that you get out of that. What does interest me about the Switch 2 is the um, USB-C port on the top of the unit, which kind of suggests that there could be some like fun peripherals that are coming in due course, um, which we, maybe we don't know about. Um, Oliver, what do you make of this particular question? Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's much need for dedicated hardware for scaling in particular, because you have DLSS, something like FSR1 can be run with a pretty negligible cost if you need some spatial upscaling beyond that. You're already packing a 200 millimeter squared, fairly modern chip in there. I mean, it's probably flexible enough to do what you need there. Um, I do think they're pro probably using some specialized legacy hardware to read uh, Switch 1 cartridges. I think that's a, a die, a, a little chip that's confirmed to possibly be for that purpose. People speculate right. about that. But I think the differentiation, the point of differentiation that Switch 2 is not going to come from what's in the motherboard. It's going to come from, I mean, outside of obviously the, the, the new Tegra chip there. I think it's going to come from like the new hardware functionality with the optical sensor, with the mouse. Maybe you'll see some hardware peripherals to make that a little bit more comfortable. That's going to come from whatever they end up doing with that top USB-C port. I agree it is, like, intriguing. <laughs> I don't know that we've seen yeah. any leaks or rumors that are specifically attached to the purpose of that top USB-C port, but I think it would be very uncharacteristic of Nintendo to stick something like that on there and just have it be a more convenient way to charge the device when playing portably. I think that's unlikely, personally. That's going to be part of it, for sure. But I would also expect them to use some kind of peripheral at some point, maybe some kind of camera, something like that. Who knows? So yeah, I think that mm -hmm. I wouldn't really be looking at the motherboard. I'd be looking at the external shell of the device to give me some uh, clues as to what they might do over the Switch 2's lifespan. Yeah. Alex, has there ever been any example of like a, a specialist hardware on a daughter board? That, I mean, if you think about PC, there's stuff like PhysX and whatnot and uh, yeah. sound cards. Um, but typically graphics is on the graphics card unless there was like SLI, stuff like that. It, it just doesn't really make sense for a console, but is there any scenario where uh, this conceit yeah. has value? No, I don't. I don't think. I think no. you put it like the, especially for real time stuff nowadays, and the fact that we use systems on a chip, which you know was pioneered at some point in history. So um, I feel like that is just uh, computing that's something that would have been done in the past around like last time was probably like the ps3 generation where that was a big deal yeah. and um, i don't see it at anymore as a game changer or something that you'd even want to target mm -hmm. yeah. yeah i mean you have the expansion pack obviously that's oh that's yeah. a great one that's one thing i was Thank thinking you, of Oliver. and then also you never know. I mean, I, I think you'd probably know by now because we have seen the motherboard, but maybe one of those USB Type-C ports is a Thunderbolt port and you get a PCA oh. expansion. And and <laughs> that would presumably be used to service the uh, mooted GPU in the power brick, of course. That's very important. <laughs> yes. so, and the dual layer ES RAM. It yeah. all makes sense. Like, there could, sense. If they wanted to wire this up with like an extra 
however many dollars of electronics that could probably accommodate something that would be ambitious for um, yep. communication here that, that would actually work, but um, that would, I don't think Nintendo was going to do that. <laughs> I don't really think so. Yeah, the, the GPU in the dock is the other uh, classic, isn't it? Yes. Extra yeah, GPU yeah. in the dock, which is an interesting idea, but ultimately that GPU in the dock would also need its own memory. And it would also need to be a particularly large chip to, to be meaningfully better than the one in the Switch itself. It would be very, very difficult to have them actually work in concert together. So you might as well just produce a home console with a bigger chip at that point. You know, it's, it's all right. a bit, it's, it's not a goer. 